Quinn Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn Miller recently was peeved. <laughs> he was peeved. <laughs> How you peeved at a bus stop? And this is fuck. Where's the, where's the bus stop? That looks like an Atlanta bus stop to me. Man, Quinn Miller's not at no fucking bus <laughs> stop. Man. That looked like that looked like the martyr to me. He waiting for that shit right there. Fan, that nigga got on the South Pole snorkel. How you telling me he's not at a bus stop? <laughs> like what, what is making his headphones still got wires? His barber don't even have all the shave down cl- clipper. <laughs> Yo, y'all are stupid, man. Damn. Y'all are stupid. I'm not. Quinn Miller, Quinn Miller, who allegedly, allegedly had something to do with some of the creation of the records on. If you're reading this now, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Speculation, rumors. No, he, I think it's credited. <laughs> Parks, he, he rumors. Didn't, he didn't feel good. He didn't feel good about the celebration of the project. He said it was one of the worst times in his life. Let's 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 listen to him. You know, a lot of people have been uh, congratulating me and sending me messages and shit about uh, the five-year anniversary of If You're Reading This and shit. If and, you're you know, I look on shit. socials and I mm-hmm. see, like, producers and, you know, other people that see, were involved you with high five and get to talk about how proud <laughs> Boy, Wonder are. Vinyls, I see y'all. This shit, you know, and, you know, it's different for me. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty much taboo for me to even talk about it, you know. I, I pretty mm-hmm. much try to act like it don't even exist the biggest the biggest project of my entire career right and that's 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 pretty strange but unfortunately you know Mm. i don't have the good memories about it that everybody has you know my good memories were all murdered you know what i'm saying like the day uh meek mandela you know y'all y'all buying that bullshit since he came out of jail like he's whatever (laughs) <laughs> day, you know, put my name out there, you know, and just blew up my whole spot. <laughs> All right, you guys, react, defend it. Uh, you gotta get, get get some work done. You gotta get what? You gotta get to work. I, I feel for him to 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 a degree. Yeah, I understand what he's saying. It's like he took the he took the 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 rough end of that. And he now they're friends. Took the only they're... L at this point. Yeah, now. it's like how I took the L. Like... And all I was doing was trying to chase my dreams and work with Drake. Right. But I, while well, I agree with you, and I do think that he has the right to, you know, be sad. You also wrote for Drake, bro. Go out and get some shit popping. Like that's a crazy resume. But he's, what he's trying to say is people are not. They don't want to. I work find that impossible to believe. Because I that. find that hard to believe too. I find it impossible. to You believe. find it hard to believe that he impossible. He to leaked believe. information that he was writing with or for Drake, and now nobody wants no, him to write for them. Possible to believe. There's. I, I bet I you thought, there's five million producers right now that will send him a bunch of shit for. Him I thought for too. the most part, when it first happened, Quentin handled it really well. He shut up and put out a, a statement that said, "We collaborated. I'm a credited writer. It's a good album." Yeah, like, like I thought he, he said, handled it well, but like he said, he still it was the worst shit ever for him. He was he still was getting crazy text messages and phone calls, and you know, got beat up. He yeah. still wrote several Drake songs, bro. You can go get work. And it's still not. No, too I believe late. you. I believe you, but I guess people don't want to. Where yeah, can Quentin gonna... Miller go get work? I'll, I'll argue this a little. Yeah, bit. His well, also his own career. You still have that name, and listen, I don't know what it was like to be in that situation. But I could imagine putting out some music at that time when everyone's name or your name is in everyone's mouth. I, I like I the shit that him and uh, Hit Yo, Boy don't and, uh, about and Dom Kennedy was doing. After the that shit was sounding good. <laughs> huh? The shit that him, Hit Boy, and Dom Kennedy was doing, that, that music sounded good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like mean, that too. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. He could have a thing in the industry where people don't want to fuck with him. I'm not going to say that's impossible. I've never heard that. I'm not in Atlanta music scene, but Though, still, I, I I could see his point of view when Meek and Drake are best friends now. I got beat up over it. <laughs> y'all I get are it. y'all are besties. What the fuck, man? I get it. And none of y'all won't answer my text messages. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all at the game together. I get it. But they weren't your friends. No, wow. I'm not saying that to begin with. But he's saying now, like, they won't even talk to him. They don't want to work with him. Why should Drake and Meek be texting Quentin Miller today? They shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they should be texting, but it, he's probably reached out and there's no communication at all. So you go from yeah, working with left. you go from working with niggas on music to now there's no communication between y'all. And right. y'all made some good records together. That's the music business, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah but, I mean... And you, you was a, a hired writer. I don't really owe you much, but the fee... 
of of the session that I had you in. <laughs> I don't know. Quinn Miller had it tough, man, with the whole accident, losing his leg. Well, yeah, it's a separate yeah. separate combo on on that. No, yeah, that's something totally different. But uh, again, and uh, another reason why I really can't he, he he could put out you could put out music whenever you want now. Exactly. Like he can put out a little EP. You got enough of a name that people are gonna click it. And yeah. Listen, you're gonna generate. You probably still got income coming in from the Drake records. Fam, I don't know what y'all talking about. He could do whatever he want. It ain't gonna sound like this. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah, y'all act like Here's he got one of these, and the, I don't want to hate on something. Quentin Miller. Me but, neither. But with the references, he didn't sound like this on this shit. Yeah, yeah that's that's like, what I'm saying. Say what you will about Drake and writing, but man, did he fucking deliver OMG. after I heard those references. <laughs> Nigga said, oh, gee. Yo, Drake is the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The hell is this? A clean version? You got the clean? <laughs> no, we can't do nothing got, clean. Got that from Clue? We can't do nothing clean. <laughs> If it crazy. ain't got the E next to it, I don't want it. Yeah. What the fuck with that? I need all my lyrics explicit. Right. All right. Well, I, listen, I do. I feel for Quentin Miller. Me too. I do feel for him. The whole cop and please to the labels at the end of the video saying, help me, help me, reach out, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. That didn't sound like somebody that was confident in their ability, ability yeah. to just go in on their own and get it done. Or their beard. That beard is ass. Yeah, because, I mean, once you have a relationship with Hit Boy... You can get music Once you have a credit Like a, It's not just like He did some bullshit On right. a Drake record He wrote Real several records. Drake records That were successful <laughs> Really good records. records Yeah You could definitely Get some sh- There is some producer That will work with you and, and on top of that Whatever that rumor was That Meek was trying to get him too To help write hooks Like People Know your name Yeah Within that writing circle Yeah And on top of that Fam You, you have the name Put out some music and I know he has put out music. Whether that hit or not is is on him, yeah. not not on the label. When you got a pen like his, he he should be all right. Right, he should be okay. I you mean, got a pen and a resume. Yeah, get to work. There's mad people with there's mad people with pens. That's not all right though. Not, but not him making pens though. No, nah, there's people with him making pens that can't get sure. their solo shit off. And I'm not. I'm not just going to jump, and I could be wrong in this, but I ain't just going to jump to say you got a hit maker pin when you gave Drake a hit. <laughs> like, I, I need, I'm, I need I'm to you. see another hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I need to see, but Drake, okay. I'm not really going with you, you have the hit maker a- pin. Especially oh. with those references. Like, if you listen to Quentin's reference, it was not a hit. The way Drake delivered that record made it a hit. <laughs> well, that's what I always say about when artists have writers. I'm like, cool, but if, can they deliver like you still have to be able to deliver that record. Somebody could write it for you, but if you can't deliver or perform that record, like it's not gonna matter. It's true. Listen, I wish Quentin Miller all the best. So do I. Tal- uh, talented kid. Yeah, go out, get it. Get it Ta- talented man. I know a lot of people get mad when we use the word kid because that's just how that's we how refer to it. Yeah. <laughs> but talented man, I don't mean you're a kid. Yeah. yeah. Go, out, be get right. it. go get it popping. <laughs> Go, go nah, get it ass, yo. Yeah, go get it popping. Seriously, though. Get, yeah, go get damn, it Listen to damn. Puffy Parks, man. Yo, yeah, go, yo, yeah. Get your shit popping, man. Go get man. two million streams, man. Yeah. 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 And I might sell your shit back. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, okay. you, can't, you can't sit and complain. Get your weight up, not your hate up. Do shit. <laughs> Bum boy. Get your sit around, up, like, not like, your hate up. If you sit around and wait, if you sit around and wait for the labels to come through for you. Oh, no. Nah. You're going to be a long, it's going to be a long day. No, I agree. No, the days are long. <laughs> the days are long for Quentin. Which is fucked up, man. Quentin was kind of cool when we went bowling at South by Southwest, that whatever, wherever that was, that venue. I mean, he was pretty cool. Like, I feel bad to see him in this position, honestly. Seems like Especially nice, nice if guy. it was at no fault of his own. Like, like I don't know the story originally, mm-hmm. but if he wasn't the one to leak information about the project, right. and he really just was a casualty of... He was a casualty of war. Uh, Meek and Drake with drama leakings, whoever leaked some shit. If it wasn't Quentin, like, then damn. Mm-hmm. Because he said that it, in the clip. He said, he said in the video, he said that one tweet from Meek just changed my whole life. And I think your life, Quentin, is more valuable than even maybe you are wording it. Because, nah. Like, the tweet don't have that much power over you if your pen is like you think your pen is. Right. Like, you don't have to just succumb to what happened from this project. It's been five yeah. years. You don't have to buy it's into... It's been five years. You don't have to buy into the noise that may be in your mentions. 
Yeah. Block out the noise. <laughs> Block yeah. out the noise. Get it popping. <laughs> I'm with you, Parks. Seriously, go find some. There's mad producers in Atlanta. Yeah. He'll be all right. There's, there's I, think, I think he'll be There's good. probably 200 writing sessions in New York. And he right run, now. he running that. And this is New York. Like Atlanta, Atlanta Circle. 500 those writing producers. sessions right now. He'll be all right. Yeah. Are, this is a tough crowd here, man. He'll be all right. I think he will. I think he'll be all right. I forgot. I think it was you that was talking to you know, someone online or something about if if you are faint at heart. Maybe it was at a live show talking to a, 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 a question from the crowd. If you're faint at heart, this might not be the business for you. Mm-hmm. Like if you just fold when you get some bad criticisms or tough times get tough, the music business is going to be very tough. It's not the business for you. If that's no, true. it's a at all. Y'all still feel the same way about it though. I think about the music what? business is, is a lot different now. It is because you can, like I said, you can put music out whenever you want. Now, like you can you can reach people in multiple ways now. Yeah, but that doesn't change how it treats you. As far, what do you change, mean treat you though? It doesn't change artistic. Uh, um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Lack of confidence. Oh, if you don't have any confidence, then that, that's no. It. Some art, like it's easy as an artist, a creator of any type, to be uh, question question yourself as mm-hmm. far yeah, as like what you're creating. As as easier as it's become to put music out on the flip side of that it's easier now to comment on people's art yeah so yeah if you can't you're, you're now like people can put out a disc put it in a cd store and go live their life and they may see a few people in the street but people never really say shit to your face they always just say it online but yeah now you put something online you can go directly to the link that you sent out on twitter and see every comment that came from your art that you put out that's true. So yeah, it's not really for the faint heart. Yeah, if you don't have no confidence, then no. Uh, I wouldn't advise you to try to get in the music business. No. It's not for you. It's a very rough, rough, rough business. 